Hi and welcome. So this is part of the DTS sport and nutrition. Um, all things cycling, little tips and tricks on different things about your bike. So today we're going to talk about how to take off your back wheel. I know, super rudimentary, like, you know, everybody knows about this, but not everybody does. Um, I have a women's cycling club and I can tell you that the number of, and I'm just going to talk about the ladies to the ladies um, who are, who really hold this part of the bike as something that's so unfamiliar and really intimidating. And I want to just, you know, show you how it can be so simple. So you don't have to spend, you know, tons of time trying to get your whole bike into the back of your hatchback or into your four door car, making sure like the seats down and everything. Um, so, and then, you know, like those who have hatchbacks, I have one and like I can put four bikes in there just taking it all apart. So I want to give you the freedom of being able to do the same thing. And it's just a couple simple tips, tips and a lot of practice. And that's the way it starts. All right. So tip number one, which is super important. Um, you don't need to have one of these, but since I'm doing it inside my house, um, I'm going to, and I've got my good clothes on, not my riding gear. Um, is once you're finished your ride and you're ready to take your bike apart, the thing, the big thing to do, and it's the number one tip is to change your back gear. So it's in the lowest cassette ring. So that means going from your front. So your right gears. So it's right for rear, right for rear. So your right gearing. Uh, controls your rear cassette. So you bring it down, all the way down. You might have to pedal it through a couple times. Let's do it again. All right, all the way to the bottom cassette. And once you're down there, this means that when you take your bike back bike wheel off, that when you put it back on, all you have to do is put the, the chain right on the very first cassette and it'll just pop right in. If you take your back wheel off and your chain's in the middle of the cassette, then when you put it on, it's not going to fit and you're going to have lots of problems getting it, like having the back wheel slide in because it should just literally slip in and slip out if you got the back cassette, uh, back back um, the chain on the very bottom cassette. Okay, so I've done that. Now, for road bikes, we have to deal with, the, we don't have to deal with the back um, brakes. For people who have like um, maybe uh, cross bikes or mountain bikes who still have the, um, the, uh, the back brake up on the wheel, not the, uh, um, the disc brake, you're going to have to release your back brakes. So make sure you know that. So it's, you have to pull them together and release the cable, but for road bikes, you don't have to, you just unlatch the back cassette, uh, the back, uh, quick release. Hold on here. Clearly need a tune. Release this, open it a little bit. So just always, unscrew the knob, not the release part. And it really just drops out. You can take the scissors really, and there you go. So now the super intimidating part is like, oh my God, where does the chain go? So you put your back cassette in between the two of them, okay? And then you place your chain right on the first one where it came off of, and you open up and open up that back derailleur, and it slides right in. 
So, I mean, sometimes it slides in and the most part, but if you have it, your chain set on a back cassette, it'll slide in and out. And you just want to make sure, sometimes people are like super frustrated and it's because your back wheels probably like lodged up against your brake and you're only focusing here and you're not looking at where your wheel is. So just take your time, you know, drop it out, open up that, your derailleur back here so you stretch it out, take it out, put it in between, really important, and then you just roll it in, see how sometimes it just sits set up there. Make sure that it's sitting in the, the uh, cradle here. See how my chain is not set. You just want to make sure it is right in there and it's not locked over here. Yeah, it's not, there you go. And then you tighten it from the bolt. And if your fingers are starting to look like this, really great indicator that your chain needs to be cleaned. Okay, my bike has not had a whole lot of love this year. So there you go. And about <clears throat> when you want to tighten this down, ladies, because we all know the guys can like really reef on it. You want to take it, you tighten from the other side. So you tighten, so you open it and you tighten here and you test it. Oh, that's too tight. Release a little bit, test it. Oh, that's perfect. So you really hold your hand against the frame and you push it down so you know it's good and tight for you and you can take it off, open it up after, open and close. Okay, so super important that this is in place and tight so when you start riding, your gears will change and your back, you know, your back wheel won't fall off. All right, so same thing with the front. Reach down, open up the quick release, unscrew from the front here. Don't ever, don't bother with the side. And you just quick open it up enough. And you pop it out, pop it back in, fit it in. Some bikes have little teeth here or like little inserts you have to get they're really annoying um, to work past those but once you do that and you test it here oh that's too light test it again oh I can squeeze a little bit more and then I really tighten against the frame there you go now a couple things to check and this is an extra little tip is putting your wheel in properly so that it's not sitting at an angle like this or like this. And it's totally possible because when you put your bike in, your bike wheel in, you could tighten it so the wheel, and this is totally unconsciously done, that the wheel is sitting up against your brake and then you go off riding and it's totally got the friction from the brake. So I want to look here. Oh, look at that. Kind of close. So I might want to just rejig it and place it and then retighten. Okay, so now the brake is a little bit further away from the wheel. I can also adjust it this way too so that it's not sitting on the wheel, but you want to make sure your tire is or your wheel is nice and straight. And it's the same goes for the back. When you get here, you want to See, this one's kind of tight. You should be able to see some, a lot of, uh, and this one's way open. So I just release it and I place my wheel and then I tighten it down and it's cool. Totally good. So please take the time and work with the back tire because it can change your life, I'm telling you. Guys and girls, um, when you know, like you're loading up the car um, and going off for your ride, or if you want to pile a bunch of people in your car and you know fill up the back with bikes and stuff, you know it doesn't. Re you're no longer restricted. So take that tip. Have an amazing day, and 
look for some more helpful tips. Take care, and this is from DTS, so Dow, Dow Training Systems, all things cycling, nutrition, and bike tips. Bye.